That grinds. Welcome to Thought Crimes, everyone, and this is your girl, Sincere Ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Because Sincere was like, I want to do the introduction. <laughs> All right, this is your boy, Prince motherfucking Solomon in the building, and time and time and time again, have we been through this public discourse with Nicki Minaj and Remy Ma, and we recently saw the interview with Wendy Williams and... Remy Ma, and she was basically saying, oh, poor little me, Nikki was trying to black Ma. Well, man. basically, this is the truth behind the industry trying to destroy, trying to blackball Remy Ma. So Remy let's Ma. get into it. Like Prince said, Nicki Minaj, from what Remy stated, tried to blackball her from award shows, tried to prevent her from being able to uh, have her music played on certain platforms. SoundCloud and iTunes. And went around crying to radio stations and DJs to not play Remy Ma's uh, Sheafter. How do you feel about this knowing that Remy, when she first came out of prison, she had no issues with Nikki and she uh, would have uh, liked them to work together but with Nikki Diva, you know, behavior, I mean, do you even consider it, consider it Diva behavior? What do you think about it? Well, I mean, I'm just going to take the, the whole Diva aspect out of it. Because, I mean, if we're going to say that, you know, that a lot of dudes were acting like Devos with each other, you know. Uh, ja Rule got shut down by 50 Cent and Company. All right. Yeah, they shut his, his they, down. <laughs> yeah, and Nas got shut down too as well when he was trying to do his uh, summer jam performance where he was supposedly going to uh, lynch a dummy that resembled Jay Z on stage when he was performing Ether. And, you know, the word was that Jay Z may have had his hand in the pot as well on that. To me, it's nothing new that rappers haven't done with each other. Uh, you know, even with cannabis, you know, he stepped on a few toes and he they got were, blackballed. He got blackballed. However, the, the, what, what what makes this one a little bit more interesting in this situation is is the fact that she didn't offer anything to kind of disguise what she was doing behind the scenes. Because like Jay Z dropped Takeover, right? But behind the scenes, he was you know had his corporate goons dealing with Nas and Prodigy, right? That was handling their radio play because Nas started complaining. He was like, "Yo." Somebody's putting pressure on me. You know, who is it? It, it? The same thing with with Drake and Meek Mill. At least Drake offered back to back. At least LL offered something to counter cannabis. It looks like to me with Nicki Minaj, she simply just went with the corporate goons trying to get Remy Ma blackball. And then on the flip side, she didn't offer a counter with but the music. The thing that made this this is ridiculous is different because Jay Z and Nas decided to go to war with each other, and after that, you know, they they made amends. Nicki went to war with Remy before Remy even made that diss track. You know, when Remy was on the Wendy Williams show, she stated that Nicki was doing all this even before she even wrote Sheether. Like Nicki was preventing her from going to award shows and trying to mess with her money before, um, you know, Nicki even created the diss tracks to. To Remy and Remy said that's where her issue when it kept escalating she was like enough is enough yeah well basically Remy Ma did clarify and it does need to be noted that Sheetha is a response I know we're waiting for Remy I mean we're waiting for Nicki Minaj to counter Sheetha but it is a response she just took the direct approach instead of the subliminal. no subliminal that's exactly. why she said in the song towards the end of Sheetha she said what you're not going to keep doing is keep subbing me you know so yes uh this is a direct response to what Nicki Minaj has been doing but uh, the thing I am very irritated about uh, to a degree when it comes to somebody like Nicki Minaj, it appears to me she does have the spoiled brat mentality. I keep tapping at you. I keep throwing the sticks at you. Oh, shit. You slapped me in the face with a lumberjack rope or some shit like that. Right now. You try to go to your parents and tell on the motherfucker. Uh, you go to the DJs, you're telling on Remy. You're going to uh, SoundCloud, you're telling on Remy. You're going to iTunes, Wait, you're telling on Remy. Yeah, Nick was like, hit me, bitch. Hit me. I said, hit oh, shit. Yeah. You know, you know <laughs> I'm about to go tell now. Yeah. Everybody. What are you going to do, though? What are you gonna do with 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 Remy Ma? Just you know, when when Nikki always just be like you know, I got a couple Nikki's, right? But Remy Ma got that voice. You dead bitch. 
No, you did, like bitch. Blackballing and music doesn't, and rap music doesn't work the same way anymore because of the social media. Mm. So even Meek Mill was still able to make a living, but he, yeah. he, he, you know, he just looked stupid in a, a lot of L's because of various reasons. Although one can say, well, maybe because Jay Z was behind him, we don't know how long that's going to remain in that uh, situation there. But that's is what protected Meek. Right. Uh, but. In this age, you know, Jay Z tried to blackball Drake. Drake was still able to do his thing. It, when it comes to social media and especially in hip hop, you don't have a guaranteed blackball anymore. And Nicki, uh, basically, she didn't. She wasn't as calculating though, like you said, as Drake and other people who made sure they had a hot record on top of uh, blackballing someone. Right. She just went straight into trying to get her corporate goons. Which on the mainstream market it works, but it, it didn't work when it came to social media and also hip hop DJs. They was like, I don't give a fuck about our relationship or you know we play your music. Uh, you know we're not going to 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 disregard Remy Ma, you know Charlemagne the oh, God, yeah. and other people. So um, she she definitely got clapped back, and this is actually starting to backfire because Remy put all her business out there. She said, Look, I I. I don't have a problem with other female MCs. In fact, I in, enjoy working with them, and I don't mind in, in, in you know working with more in the future. But you know, she called her uh, her up, and you know they had a conversation, and she said, "Yeah, you know, I don't mind you saying you're the best. That's what you're supposed to do. All MCs are supposed to do that. But we can still work together." And what Nikki did was she was just she thought from that conversation, okay, I can get this bitch. You know, that's what Nikki thought, and Nikki was dead wrong. And uh, dead bitch, <laughs> dead bitch. Yeah, you know she's she's dead wrong, and it, it shows her to be the real bully. You you got a, a a person here who's trying to provide for her family along with Papoose. She has children, and you're trying to blackmail her from even eating. You know when you think about Ja Rule and the rest of them, unless well, yeah. unless they they mishandle their finances. Ja Rule still should be able to eat because of so much money Murder Inc. accumulated. But yeah. but you know this Remy, is, Remy, yeah. Remy, she, you know, she's she, the same thing. Yeah. She it's it's, it's it's that simple. She uh she cut her off. She she you know, she stopped, she tried to stop her career. And as you stated, no, you can't do that in this age. Blackballing it don't work like it did in ninety seven. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. In fact, you may give that person more power, which she did. She ended up giving Remy Ma more power, you know, because Remy Ma was able to take advantage of this opportunity. And, and also... And Jay-Z and that really gave uh, Drake more power, too. Yeah, you know, so, I mean, I think to me, it, it speaks more on the corporatism that was always festering around the young money camp, even spilling over into Drake's situation. But Drake at least was able to counter on the traditional stacks of hip-hop with back-to-back. However, with Lil Wayne... Uh, what we've seen with Young Thug, uh, and now with Nicki Minaj, Free Remy. Yeah, you have all of these these corporations doing your bidding, and if you if you're trying to, like, if you're trying to blackball somebody, like, I mean, that's some crazy shit. Why even get started with a motherfucker like Remy? You know, you ain't got no win in the fight, and then on top of that. You feel you don't have to respond, which is cool. If you don't want to respond, you don't want to respond. It is what it is. But from this day forward, you can't talk about son and bitches anymore. You can't talk about you the dopest lyricist in the game. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. All Remy, that's done. Remy obviously considered this war because Nikki is going beyond the bar. She's trying to destroy Remy's life. And Remy is not going to stop until she stops. Now, she didn't leave it with bars, of course. She got something else cooking up. She got actually some something in the woodworks where there's some sensitive information about Nicki Minaj that she ain't, she's not going to pull it off, pop it off yet, unless Nicki keeps trying to blackball her. So, yeah. if Nicki want to keep it to bars, Remy is saying she's fine with that. But if she continues trying to blackball her behind the scenes, She's going to put out that sensitive information. Well, another thing people got confused, and I'm going to delve in a little deeper with, you know, an independent video. But I will say this. What people got confused with, another one. Another one was not so much a, a, a diss record for the public. Sheether was. Yeah. Another one was a direct line of communication. If you listen to it, 
there wasn't that many uh, uh, funny diss moments. There wasn't none of that in it. It was actually, if you think about it, the crux of the tracks was, I got information on you. This is a direct line of communication to you. If you keep doing what you're doing, I'm about to embarrass the fuck out of you. If you think Sheetha was bad, we're really going to turn your image upside down. And that's what that was. That shit really was a ransom note. <laughs> that shit was some blackmailing shit, and she said it. So I, th I think right now, Nicki Minaj, we don't know the ins and outs behind the scene, just like we didn't know that Nicki Minaj was trying to blackball Remy until she came on the couch. And I know people will say, well, how do you know? How would you believe her? It is what it is. There's things it's, that... It's believable. Uh, there, Come there, on, yeah, it's believable. And there's things that may take place behind the scene that we're not privy to. On the flip side, we're not exactly... 100% sure why Nikki hasn't responded. Albeit, some people say, hey, it's more than likely she just can't lyrically hang with Remy. You could say that. But then on the, other, on the flip side, it's like she hasn't spoken because maybe if she does, she's pushing that envelope closer to the edge where Remy said, I'm taking the gloves off. Bitch. Remy, though, Remy made it clear, though, if Nikki responds to her with bars, she's not going to shoot that off. She's saying if only if Nikki continues to do what she do behind the scenes, then she'll she'll do it. So but you it's got like a scary it, cat like uh, like Nikki. She really don't know. Really, she don't know if that's gonna happen. If we stay in that or the shit gonna come out either way. Yeah. So she may she may be in a bitch phase, a bitch up phase where she don't want to rock the boat. Well, that's what you what happens when you try to be a bully. You get bullied. <laughs> you know, I don't feel I have no sympathy for Nicki Minaj because I don't like people like that. You know, when someone's minding their business and you coming up over there, you know, just starting shit. First of all, it shows a big insecurity. But it, it look, if Nikki, this is the thing, you know, corporations do it all the time. They look for people that have potential and they try to knock them off. So to me, if, if Nikki was like, I don't care about female empowerment, you know, every woman for herself. If she would have said that, then I'm like, yo, whatever. You know, y'all know Nikki was like that. It is what it is, but Nick, but Nikki is like a fake ass person, just like her ass. On Twitter and everything, she's talking about women empowerment. You know, she's getting that Taylor. Oh, we we need to show all body types of women. Like she she's on that path, right? So then a woman who's completely minding her business, but who's a threat to you, I guess lyrically. But she's minding her business, and you go after her and try to destroy her career, and she didn't do nothing to you. You're a hypocrite. So on that point. Everyone actually have the right to look at you funny. Mm -hmm. So I understand why Wendy Williams said what she said, because if you putting on that facade, then everybody has a right to clap back at you because now you was trying to take this whole moral, we are, uh, are all women warriors cry, but you're full of shit. So, it, it, so she doesn't get the same leeway as, you know, these corporations, which I still disagree with that see someone as a threat they may not be the company may not be million making them millions yet but they're like yo i can see that eclipsing us oh, yeah. i'm gonna shoot well, it down I, you know, I, you know I, i'm just I, there's one thing i agree with you on i agree with the whole woman shit like don't throw up feminism as a, a, a flag or a shield to run up under when your <laughs> bitch ass don't operate like and she that, did that for yeah. her whole career doing yeah. that bait and switch but shit. like if yeah. it's a corporation if they see a threat knock them off if they want to knock them off me personally I'm, i operate a little differently but when i see corporations or certain plays being made against potential threats governments do it all the time you know, they eliminate a threat before it gets a little momentum they, and power. They bring it under their wing. Right, they do that. They either get rid of it or bring it under their wing. But uh, with Nicki Minaj's situation, uh, it looks like to me, I think she's afraid to jump because even if she jumped, Remy more than likely is just because how low probably Nicki would have to get with Remy. Remy would drop the information anyway. So it, it, in a sense, it, Nicki is being held hostage, but here's the thing about it. Reverse she, black ball. Right. She was doing the same shit to other females in the game. So now you got somebody that got your titties in the ring. To be honest with you, I'm just putting it out there. That's and what it she is. She deserved every moment of it. So every yeah. moment. It's like what we said, you know, don't fake the fun. In fact, you didn't even have to talk about women empowerment at all. Let's say you don't have to show your hand. Right. Let's say if you didn't talk about it at all, right. no one could come at you at this angle. You're like, oh well, you know, Remy is a threat. Understandable. That's what Nikki wanted to do. But you spent your whole career baiting and switching 
putting on a facade. Yeah, putting on a facade about, oh, a hundred yeah. women, you know, crying about sexism. If a man said this, you know, you're full of shit, bitch. Yeah. You're full of shit. Oh, no, you gotta say, you're dead, bitch. You're dead, bitch. You're dead, bitch. You you're know? not gonna keep subbing me. And, and <laughs> Randy so, Moss sound like a, a, a mob boss. <laughs> yeah, and so people don't get sensitive. I use the word bitch gender neutral. Yeah. You know, just like uh, numerous of times I've called Meek Mill a bitch to where, uh, to which a lot of people got sensitive about. But uh, the whole point is don't, you know, he he got something too, playing on a particular facade that isn't true. And of course, you're not supposed to believe MCs on anything anyway, but we're talking about when you pretend to be for some type of moral cause that you're uh, not really well, yeah. for, well, yeah. you know. Hey, I got two. I got two points here that I want to make before we we tap out of this situation. Uh, Fifty Cent. Like a lot of times, people excuse Fifty Cent because when he came in the game, he says, "I want the fucking whole pie." You know, he was like Christopher Walken in King in New York. He says, "I want in." Right? He said, "I'm gonna go after Nas and Jay Z for the crown." He said it on his first out or his first major album. And 50 Cent laid it out that I'm not trying to be friends with no motherfucker in the industry. So when he went after Nas, when he went after Jada Kiss, Fat Joe, when he went after all of these cats, for the most part, people were like, damn, 50 tripping, but that's 50. Yeah, yeah, they're like, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Uh, here's the downside for Nicki Minaj as far as the response shit, right? But let's just say Remy Ma is full of shit. Well, here's the problem. You're not even engaging in dialogue with some of the hip hop pundits. You're not calling in the Ebro. You're not calling in the Charlemagne to even state your side of the story. You're doing the invisible no, wall no. shit. Yeah. So at this point, she can say anything, but you're not responding. So right now, everybody's just hearing Remy and they're rolling with it. Remy, what she's saying is the truth because the DJs already said that she was trying to like not have Remy's shit played or trying for them to to appease to what happened to her well so, yeah it was when she when, had that blackout nikki started crying yeah, at everybody when she did that she confirmed everything uh remy said on uh, on wendy's show on the sh on that uh platform so she confirmed it just by her actions to the people on the radio show she proved she was trying to blackball remy and uh, all Remy did was showcase that she was doing this way before she uh, put out Sheeter. Well, this is what yeah. I'm saying here. Look, I think, first of all, you know me. I did my independent. I say Remy Ma lyrically is in it. She's up there with like, uh, 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 what's the boy's name? Cool G Rap, Cormega. She's up there with the, you know, th those guys that are battle tested rappers. Uh, my thing about this situation. The reason why I have a problem when people don't face the music, facing the public. Let's say you get on some Machiavellian shit. How many times we've seen Drake throwing them fucking crocodile tears? And everybody walk away from the interview with a different opinion. They was like, oh shit, so it's not him. It's the other motherfucker. She don't even allow she don't even allow herself to play a Machiavellian moment. Because she's she, a stupid woman that was yeah. manufactured by a corporation that yeah, it's like her. at least at least say something to the people because right now you know i don't care what anybody says remy has the clear win and another one was not meant to be uh sheet there it was clearly a veiled threat to her about some shit outside the music that's what that was about it was about yeah, nothing look, else she made it because she's not calling nikki she's not gonna call her y'all don't y'all can't comprehend she didn't do the diss like oh i'm, I'm going at her after again if you're not gonna call somebody who's still blackmailing you, because when think about it, Remy put Sheeta out. Now she's trying to blackmail the single by having it dropped off of YouTube, uh, uh, iTunes, and different things like that, right? And YouTube. And YouTube. Yeah. So now she's like, okay, so this bitch is still blackballing me. Look, I, I'm not calling you bitch because I don't fucking like you. But what I will do is I'm gonna drop a single called Another One, and in that single, when you listen to it. You gonna know that I got something on you that if you keep trying to blackball my shit, I got your ass. I You're got dead, your ass. Bitch. <laughs> You're dead, bitch. You know, uh, she said she had several things on Nicki Minaj. Also, here's the thing about the sheet that what's a fail on Nicki and her camp's behalf. Ron Browse produced the singer, aka Mr. Ether Boy, who actually touched in. He was taking a chunk of uh, uh, T Pain's auto tune sales out as well, right? Because they were competing a little bit for the time being. He already said I had given Remy the clearance on the record. He said, so whatever she generates from it, that's hers. 
Exactly. So, and that's, so that, you can't that, even you can't even do that to him, yeah, to her, because he he cleared the record too. Well, yeah, that she was gonna make she could make a lot of money off of that record if she wanted to, but again, Nikki's getting in the way. So everybody, that's the story behind another one. She basically letting people know, look, there's people in the industry who's just as big as you who don't fucking like you, like Mariah Carey, for example. There's people I know that can help back me up, but not only that, forget that. I got sensitive information on you that you don't want to come out. So if you don't want this to come out, get the fuck out of my way. Thank you, yeah, that's why I said Nicki Minaj ain't responding for several reasons. It may be that she's lyrically incapable, but also again, she got yoked up behind the scenes on some blackballing shit, some blackmailing shit, some ransom uh, shit. She just just keep making videos you and know. letting the future stare at your titties. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, game got her. Gang. Flowers. The, gang. Simpest. <laughs> the simplification of a gangster. A supposed gangster. Yeah, I love Nikki. He did say he loved me. I love her. He I went to Instagram. That nigga still following her ass. One one person he following. <laughs> anyway, folks, leave your comments below. Tell us what do you think about the situation? What do you think about another one? And what do you think about our breakdown of what exactly another one meant? Okay. I mean, and we'll we'll do a breakdown of this behavior with Nicki Minaj because it happened on the view when she was crying. There's a long history of what happened on the view. Fucking cry. Well, she got mad because with the Mariah Carey thing, American Idol. Um, they had Mariah carry on to also tell her story, and Nikki was like, "Fucking view all this other shit, crying and shit, oh, okay. trying to throw them under the bus." But anyway, well, she has a behavior pattern of this. She's like she said, she she's spoiled. So yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do a video on that. They can say what they want to say, but Remy Ma. Remy Ma looked like she was uh, genetically assigned to be Nicki Minaj's bully in life. Assassination. <laughs> looked like some. <laughs> no, but she was clearly agitated because you know people like her and Papoose they like to just do their own thing, you know. Yeah. And um, she was she was agitated on on uh, Wendy's dead show. Bitch. Dead bitch. You're not gonna keep subbing me, bitch. You're not gonna keep subbing me, bitch. bitch. <laughs> she Nikki can't even compete with her voice. <laughs> yeah, dead bitch. Anyway, folks, leave your comments below. Tell us what do you think about this subject here. What do you think about another one? Uh, what do you think about our breakdown of it as well? And what we've illustrated in this segment here on Thought Crimes. Of course, this is your homie Prince motherfucking Solomon. And this is your girl Sincere. Peace. And we are out. One. And this is Thought Crimes. Welcome to Thought Crimes, everyone, and this is your girl, Sincere Ignorance, and I'm with... Of course, this is the homie, Prince Solomon, in the building, and welcome to our GoFundMe. Thought Crimes showcases global issues from a black perspective, focusing on the global government, the Federal Reserve, police brutality, our constitutional rights, human rights, and much more. This channel is an alternative to all the other noise out there because we take black Americans' concerns seriously, in addition to being all-inclusive to the diversity of black people as a collective, when you need real commentary on serious issues that the news will never cover. Thought Crimes has your back, no hold bars. Of course, rooted through comedy, entertainment, and not giving a fuck about those with sensitive ears. Welcome to Thought Crime. I saw the check, nigga. Huh. What? Stop. Stop. <laughs> this is the real Alex Jones, as you can see. I was put into this cartoon body by a reptilian. This reptilian took over Infowars, and now I have to tell everyone the truth about my current state in order to get rid of the fake Alex Jones. Please join me as I fight for survival while still proclaiming the truth that the mainstream media frauds and young turds does not want me to tell you. Please join me here on Infowars.